This nice footage that was taken in 1943-44 has a runtime of 13 minutes and 46 seconds. In part two of this series, covering the V1, we'll take a look at the German expectations for the weapon when it was introduced to the public in a 1944 Signal periodical. We'll see training footage showing how the V1 catapult function and then some test firings of the weapon system. At the end of the video, I'll show some unreleased Allied footage from a captured launch site near Calais from September of 1944, so stick around. It's worth it. This is Volume 5 of 5 in a collection published in 1977, which contains all the signal periodical content from 1940 to 1945. Usually I use it to locate the content in the originals that I work with to avoid damaging them, but today we'll look at this reprint. The article is titled Ein Wendepunkt. It reads, with the V-1 becoming operational, the flying bomb has single-handedly revolutionized the future development of warfare. A combination of bomb and shell, the remotely controlled rocket will soon make the bomber formations that are made up of a large assortment of men and machines less significant. Possibly in the near future, the bomber as we know it will become obsolete. Will the Germans succeed during this war with a combination of military might and the will of their soldiers to hold on until this weapon changes the battlefield? Will the production of these new weapons, which will be used on the land, sea, and in the air, allow Germany to not only catch up to the enemy, but also to spring past them? Will the V weapons finally give Germany the advantage necessary to bring the final victory? Suddenly Europe's enemies see that time is against them. They try to quickly achieve victories on the battlefield before this technological leap takes hold and leaves them behind. The complexity of this weapons development is the weakest point in the Anglo-American struggle against time. Here is a flying bomb ready to launch. This film shows the process of testing the propulsion unit. The ignition is switched on, and the pressure tank's reading is correct. The area behind the rocket has been cleared. With one push of a button, the rocket fuel ignites. The air ventilators are working correctly. Inside the rocket, the secret sequential exploding process runs smoothly. Here we see it in slow motion. To the rhythm of the internal explosions, the opening and closing of the ventilators continues as fuel is injected into the combustion chamber. With this process, the weapon can travel long distances. Signal reporter Hans Hoopman went to visit a V-1 launch site. His photographs show for the first time the V-1 close up. A Luftwaffe soldier configures the coordinates of the target into the flying robot. The wings are mounted. I actually showed the footage of the wings being mounted in part one, but I used the wrong film source, which was of much poor quality. Sorry about that. If you appreciate quality content created from primary historical sources, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Using compressed air, the flying bomb is catapulted on its way. This animated illustration showing how the V-1 catapult functions is part of a 1943 ground crew training film that has a total runtime of just under 29 minutes. There is a link to the complete film if you're interested in buying it in the description section of this video.
Soon it levels out and flies at high speed off towards its target. In just a few seconds, it is shot out of sight of the ground crew. However, its humming sound can continue being heard. In the meantime, the crew jumps to action with the specialized machinery bringing the next flying bomb into position and readying it for launch. Now let's take a look at that raw film I promised. This unique film reel is labeled Atlantic Wall near Calais. Inspection of a German flying bomb installation. France, September 1944. It has a runtime of six minutes and 10 seconds. For Patreon channel members, you can see it in its entirety on military1945.com. If you are not yet a supporter, please consider becoming one.